the Air Force Small Business Innovation Research Program has funded the development of technologies vital to the production of the F-35 Lightning II. This is the story of one of them. The complexity in the design and construction of the F-35 led to rethinking of the traditional aerospace manufacturing processes. Funding from the Air Force Small Business Innovation Research Program resulted in new, more efficient, cost-saving technologies. So in the manufacture of the F-35, we used tens of thousands of fasteners of several hundred different types to put the aircraft together. The traditional method of matching fasteners was to count the holes on a blueprint and mark the fastener with a sticky note or felt-tip marker. Any variations in the thickness of materials meant the fasteners had to be removed and replaced. And every time you have a mechanic that is referencing a blueprint, um, referencing it two, three, four, five times to make sure he's got the right type of fastener in the right hole, um, in the right spot, that costs time. The Air Force Research Lab decided to address this issue with a manufacturing critical SBIR. We were able to use the contracting authorities offered to us by the Small Business Innovative Research Program to go back and work with VRSI directly again. VRSI teamed with Northrop Grumman and Delta Sigma, a company that specializes in projection systems, to create a workflow technology called FILLS. Projection technology is optimally suited for aerospace because aerospace assembly operations often involve a large number of operations over a large area, often on an aircraft skin which serves as an ideal canvas for projected work instructions. On the left hand screen we have manuscript. That is the uh, environment in which a mechanical engineer would author the work instructions for the projection work system. Um, on the right hand screen is assembly works operator to access the work instructions. Whatever's highlighted here ends up being projected onto the aircraft. And you can see there's a number of different uh, colors. And then on the right hand side, we publish a legend that describes what those shapes and colors represent. So here we have uh, base fastener, ELS 320, uh, NN10 with a grip length of eight. And there's a quantity of one. And that's what's shown on the aircraft right now. And as the operator moves down the list, the items shown on the aircraft change based on this uh, sort string. Not only does the fill system tell the mechanic what fasteners and where they go, it also tells them the correct order to be installed and if there's an unexpected problem due to the material thickness. Moves along to the next. When there is a variation in the thickness from spec, the hole turns from blue to a red-orange color. Indicating that this measurement is out of spec. The fill system was incorporated into the Northrop Grumman assembly process in 2015. So far, the response has been uh, very positive. Most operators love the opportunity to do their job better. And in this case, we provided them with a tool that let them do their job a lot faster and with a lot higher quality. The introduction of the fill system is expected to save over $100 million over the life of the program. The SBIR-funded fills and IDRD systems has also helped VRSI grow their business. It's been very significant for us, both in the opportunity to diversify into the aerospace industry and to grow our technology development capacity. The Air Force Small Business Innovation Research Program, helping the Defense Department meet its better buying power goals of controlling F-35 production costs while getting effective new technologies into the hands of U.S. warfighters. Learn more at www.afsbirsttr.com.